and welcome back for another week of vlogmas again i've got my advent calendars and you may have seen last week that there was a little bit of a christmas market going on in one of my local towns so there was a little bit of video from there too it's kind of like a little christmas uh german christmas market they call them so there was mulled wine there was hot dogs and sausages and not really sure what else <laughs> um, it was a little bit busy for me but yeah it's very very pretty and there was also a candy cane go-kart ring no not go-karts what was it crazy golf next to it so that was quite nice to see too so it is day six yes we are on day six of advent and again time to go through the smallest one first so my Siobhan's crafts advent calendar so day six there we go so little gold box today what colour have we got today? Ooh, that's pretty. There's like blues and pinks with a little bit of teal in there. That's really, really nice. I like that a lot. I might have to get one of these in a in a much bigger skein. That's really pretty. It's called a peacock ore. Now, I've not heard of this one before either, so I'm going to have to do some research, I think. But yeah, that is really, really pretty. Oh, I'm so looking forward to working these up into something amazing now. So that's going to go into the bag too. I love this bag. It's so, so handy. It's such a thoughtful item to add into an advent calendar too. It's just perfect to put everything in. So let's have a look, shall we? So I have now finished the part, or we're on part five of the crochet along for the Crochet Society one. And you can see we've got some more mosaic here, but it's overlay mosaic instead this time. I've put my little uh, progress keeper on there too. And we've got into the pink. So that's coming up really, really nice. Looking forward to seeing what today brings. So number six is up here. So let's see if we can get this door open. And what colour do we have today? Oh, it's a lighter pink. So this one is called Strawberry Milkshake. It is so true. That is exactly the colour of Strawberry Milkshake. And my camera is blowing it out. Let's see if it'll come up next to the other one. Don't know. Anyway, it's a really, really lovely pink, pale pink colour. It's exactly the same colour as Strawberry Milkshake, which I love. Love Strawberry Milkshake. So, I'm going to look forward to putting this into the next part of my blanket. And I'll see you all again tomorrow. In the meantime, I am kind of running a virtual craft fair from home. So, it's a little bit more cramped than usual in my living room. But, we'll get there. <laughs> if there's anything you would like, please pop over to my Facebook page and you'll be able to find everything available there. See you tomorrow. on day seven because i'm back to work today so i'm trying to be really quiet um so let's get this advent open shall we so day number seven of siobhan's crafts Ooh, there's a really lovely blue color that's really nice. It's like a really strong cobalt blue. Lapis lazuli. Should have known. Those colours are really, really nice. I like those. There's tones of green. Oh, tones of green. Tones of grey in there as well as the blue. 
really nice deep shades of blue so let's pop that in the bag and let's move on to the crochet sewing calendar so i have finished off day six and we are back to working in some more um mosaic crochet so my ball from day six is still attached So we've got this really nice pattern in here from day five and now we've got this crisscross pattern for day six and i've done the crisscross before you may have seen the pandemonium blanket that i did over the summer that's got loads of crisscross but i really like it so it's a nice pretty pattern you see this sort of lace effect so that's all prepped and ready to go for some more mosaic crochet so let's pop that down Let's open day seven, shall we? Ooh, it's a dark colour. It's called Pear Drops, so it's kind of like a teal colour. It's not showing up very well on the screen, but it's, it's kind of like a really nice teal colour. That actually goes lovely with that light pink. So it's really difficult to see the colours on here because they're blowing out, but once they're in the blanket, you'll be able to see them a little bit better. So I'll see you again tomorrow. Hi everyone. I've just realised that I did not open my calendars yesterday because today is day nine and I have missed day eight. So let's get them open, shall we? You can see behind me that I have finished part seven of the crochet cow and it's getting quite big now. So look, it fills my screen. There's so many lovely different techniques in here that I'm really looking forward to seeing how it all comes together at the very end. So, and I've got a nice little connection behind me of all the arm balls. So, Let's open day eight and then we'll find day nine afterwards. I'm going to do this one first just because um, I feel like it today. So let's get number eight open. Oh, this one's a very minty green. This one is called Mint to Be. That is definitely a minty green. So let's have a look and see if we can find number nine. That's going to look really nice actually. with the green from day seven it's more of a darker green than i thought it was it's not quite teal it is very much green so but it does work very nicely so let's pop that one there i need to remember which colors are which so where is number nine? Oh, look it's right behind me let's i'm gonna shuffle over shall i and knock my camera <laughs> let's pop you back there we go Right, number nine is down here, which means I've got to move all my pretty yarn balls. So, let's pop them to one side, shall we? I'm trying to keep them all in order. Okay, so number nine then. Oh, difficult to do it at this angle. Come on. There we go. Oh, look how bright that is. That's a proper yellow, that is. And it is called Limoncello. That is a very, very bright yellow. So let's pop that one with the mint. And I'll get those worked up later. So let's have a look at the Chiffon Crafts one. So I've got two to open for this one as well. So day eight then is a little blue pouch, which I've just dropped. Oh, there's some blue in this. And there's another little bag as well. So we have turquoise. I love turquoise. It's one of my birthstones. 
This is really pretty. It reminds me of the ocean. It's got some darker blues in there as well as the nice bright tealy blues, aqua blues. It's just really pretty. <laughs> and what else have we got? Oh, there's another stitch marker. This one is a heart. And it's meant to be a turquoise heart. Now, I find turquoise to be really expensive gemstone to buy, so I'm not sure if this is real turquoise. Um, but it does give the impression of it. A lot of the turquoise you find, or a lot of stones that you find advertised as turquoise are actually howlite, um, but coloured in the turquoise colour. But that is really pretty. <laughs> And I love that both of them are hearts. So we had an amethyst one on the fifth. That was a heart shape. And now today's one, or yesterday's one, is a heart shape as well. So let's pop that one back in there. And then day nine, for today, is in a little black pouch. And this one's got some, ooh, it's got minty green in it aquamarine that is spot on for aquamarine color aquamarine is a really really lovely gemstone it's such a very subtle green sometimes as well but that is really pretty that goes really nicely actually with the blue so that are the that is the advents for days eight and nine hopefully i can keep on top of it and do everyone on the day i'm supposed to do them but I have stayed off Instagram, so I have not seen what these are. And I'm trying to do it early in the morning as well before I leave for work. So make sure to make sure that I do not get, um, that it doesn't spoil it for me. <laughs> so hope you're enjoying this. I'll see you again tomorrow. Hi guys, it is day 10. We are almost halfway through our advent. So I'm going to show you days 8 and 9. We'll crochet up in my blanket. We have the mint to be, which is really nice minty green. And then we have this really, really bright yellow, which is limoncello. And I've probably said that completely wrong. But we put these really cool bobbles at the top with some more mosaic crochet. And it's getting quite big. If I open it up fully, it's a little bit big now. So it has to sit folded because <laughs> I don't have space to put it um, full size. So let's get day number 10 open of the Chiffon Crafts um, advent and then I'll show you the Crochet Society one too. And today is extra special because it's also my birthday <laughs> so there are 15 days between my birthday and my son's birthday and there are, then there are 15 days between my birthday and Christmas which is also my husband's birthday so it's a, an expensive month <laughs> so let's find day 10 that's 11 there we go day 10 so we've got a little silver box and more fingers and thumbs today day 10 Oh, this is slightly green as well. So we had aquamarine yesterday. Oh, the speckles. What is this? Cressophase. That's a really lovely green. It's kind of like... It's a cross between mint and lime and... Yeah, got a little bit more darker green in there, like a foresty green. But I love the speckles in this. So Chrysophase as a gemstone, it's quite a nice rich green colour and it's got these lovely brown speckles in there. So that, where is it, there we go, that picks it up really nicely. It's a really good representation of the stone. So let's pop that in the bag. And as always, I'll take a really nice picture of that in a little while. So let's open day 10 of the big one. So let's pop that in. I've ripped it now. These are really tough to get open. Oh, it's like a biscuit colour. 
And we've got another charm, which I've just dropped on the floor. So the charm's like a little lollipop. Yeah, you know, like a little candy lollipop. That's really sweet. So, what is this called? Creamy coffee. So I, I look at it like a little biscuit colour, but that's going to look really nice against the yellow. So I'm going to get this crocheted up. And I'll pop that at the end for you. So, I've completely ripped that now. Oh well. So that means I also get to open up some cards. I've just opened up some gifts and I put some pictures up of the gifts as well. I've got a £15 Amazon voucher, so I'm not sure what I'm going to spend up on. There's a lot of things on Amazon. <laughs> this one is Flamingo. That's really cool. I like that one. That's from my aunt in Mallorca, my great aunt. And then this one is from my nan. Let's have a look. It's a panda. I think my family know that I like pandas. That's a really cool panda. It's like a little bee costume. Yeah, that's from my nan. So I'm going to pop those up on display. And I'll put some pictures in of uh, my birthday gifts as well. My sister bought me these um snowflakes they're called snowflake tools and each part of the snowflake is a different tool and then you can use the insides for things like bolts and stuff when you can't undo things which i think is really cool and really handy to have as well so i'm going to see if i can get some footage of me using that too although there's not a lot of diy i need to do anyway i hope you've enjoyed these last five days and i'll see you again next week for the next five so i'll see you again soon bye